Welcome to Holy Spirit News, the cart before the horse. No matter what happens in this life, there is an order to everything. We need to make sure we are grounded in the things that make a difference in this world. Do you understand the difference of the mechanics of life and death? Do you know that each are totally different? One is of the light and one is of the darkness and death. We all need to choose which path is for us. There are consequences when following darkness. Life does not follow darkness. It only follows light. The light of the world is love and kindness. You can't expect to get a good result in life if you put the cart before the horse. There is an order to all of life. There is a correct way to go through life and an incorrect way to go through life. No one expects anyone to be perfect, but striving for being on the side of life is extremely important. We are vessels that contain light. As we do things that are of the other realm, we darken that light and allow darkness to penetrate. Life holds many mysteries we don't know about. Just because we have not been taught about something does not mean it does not exist. This realm that is called earth is truly a mystery to men. One era, man will say the earth is flat, and the next century, it is round. No one truly knows who is telling the truth about anything. Lies are there to deceive and keep one from the truth. Without truth, there is no compass from where to build on. When you have a wrong origin or starting point, the result will always be wrong. The only truth is with God. The Holy Spirit is our compass of right and wrong. He will lead you to the truth and away from the lies. He is our rock when the winds of trouble obscure your sight from right or wrong. The Holy Spirit is your barometer of measurement of right or wrong. We can't know everything. We were never meant to be all-knowing. You can start over right now before it's too late. Get on your knees and repent to God, Jesus, for your mistakes and things that you have done wrong. Ask for forgiveness, and then turn from those sins you have been holding on to for such a long time. This is why Jesus died for your sins, so that you could and can repent. It is as easy as finding a quiet room. Tell Jesus that you are ready to change your life and strive for holiness, that you are willing to give up what you have held on to for such a long time. Love and harmony are the things that make up those who follow God. One of the only truths I know is that we have a creator, and we are his creation. He expects us to be holy like he is holy. He expects us to emulate him. He loves us.